Welcome to my first video in this web design series. In this video, I'm going to talk about the doc type template as a basic skeleton for any old web page that you want to design. So what you see on the screen right now is a what I would call a basic skeleton for a website. The basic skeleton is going to contain all of the tags that you need to create a website. It just doesn't have any of the content in it yet. So I'm going to just go down from top to bottom and show you what each of these things are. The first thing that you see here, what I'm highlighting right now, is called the doc type template, or the doc type declaration. The doc type declaration tells a browser what language you are developing in. In this case, we're using XHTML 1.0 strict, which is a version of HTML. This just tells the browser that the rest of this page should be interpreted as XHTML 1.0 strict. You need this in your page to ensure that your web page will display correctly. Without this, your style sheets and some of your HTML elements won't work correctly or just won't work at all. The next tag that you have, the one that I've got highlighted, is the HTML tag. Or we also call it the root element. The HTML tag tells the browser that now we're starting to write an HTML language. Anything below here should be interpreted as HTML. The HTML tag has an attribute called the XMLNS attribute or the XML namespace attribute. I'm not going to go into depth on what this is at all. If you want to know what XML namespaces are, I really strongly recommend doing a web search on it and um, figure it out for yourself. We just don't have time to go into this in this class. Next comes the head element. Head opens and closes. The head is going to contain all the utilities for the web page. In other words, it's going to contain things that won't display in the page, but helps the page display the way you want it to display. It'll contain things like the title. It'll contain a style sheet or links to external style sheets. It will contain scripts or links to external scripts, and it will contain some other types of metadata. It's all the stuff that we're going to put in the page to make it function the way we want it to function, but it won't actually display in the browser. None of this stuff that you put up here will display in the browser. The title. The title shows up on the little tab in the browser or along the top bar of the browser. So if you're opening this in, in Google Chrome, the tab that this instance of a web page opens is going to have the words conforming XHTML 1.0 strict template on the tab. You should use this to um, describe what your web page is. So if I'm making my first web page, I might do something like this. Gorl's first web page. Yeah! So that when I open this in the browser, this is what you'll see on the tab. Head closes, body opens and closes. Content goes in the body. All the things that we go to this website to consume, all of the images, text, uh, videos, sounds, any of that kind of stuff that we go to the web to look at, to consume, goes in the body. Never put any content outside of the body. And then our root element closes. And that, my friend, is your basic skeleton.